Shalom Abracha from Yerushalayim. We are continuing with our discussion of particular minhagim that relate to specific Shabbatot. And we are up to <coughs> the parasha of Tazriyah. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, uh, do the minhagim based on this year's calendar, which means Tazriyah and Tahor are read together, two parashiot in the same week. Now I refer to the parasha as Tahor. If you look at the Humashim, most Humashim, if not all, will say Mesorah. That's the common name for the parasha. However, our custom is not to use the negative connotation of the word Mesorah and to use the word Tahor, Tahor purity. And if that's the way it's referred to in the Tikkun of Birkat Abraham, if you look at even the old Pismonim books, they all refer to this parasha as Tahor, uh, when the Halabiya of the, from the erotic community get together and they speak, they speak about Parashat Tahor. So it's called Tazriya and Tahor. The Makam of the week, if it's Tazriya alone, of course, Sabah, because you have a Bayom HaShemini, Mor Besar Or Lato. That's what's written in the book as well, in the Pismoni book, it says Sabah or Bayat. Tahor is now one to Sika. But when they're Mehubarot, it says to do Sabah. However, this year and many years, the parashiyot Tazriyah Tahor are read the Shabbat before Yom Asma'ud, the, the Independence Day of Israel. Now, as in all holidays, for instance, Pesach, the Shabbat before Pesach, Shabbat Agadol, we will always do Makam Nawa because the tunes concerning the holiday of Pesach are in, written, generally written in that, that Makam, that scale. Similarly, in Shavuot, we will switch to Husseini so we can do Semehim, Shemor Libi Ma'ane. In Tubishvat, we don't change the, the, the Makam. It's Makam Ajam generally for Parashat Mishallah, but we will switch to Saba to do the uh, famous tune of Tubishvat for Semehim. That's generally the, 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 the policy of the uh, Hazanut and the Minhag of the Hazanut of Aleppo. So similarly here, we will switch to most, not all kehillot, we'll switch to Nahuat, when doing Tazriyah Tahor, because it's the week before Yom Asmaut, and they will do all the tunes, or as many tunes as possible in the Nahuat scale, which are related to uh, the state of Israel. As we know, Hatikva, of course, is in Nahuat. We usually do that for Nakdishah. Uh, I mentioned in my earlier videos of the Shabbat prayer that Hacham Moshe Ash'ar Alav Shalom incorporated the Hatikva into the way we sing Baruch She'amah. And this was even pre-state. It was already the, the hymn of the, of the uh, Zionist Congress. So that's very, very interesting. And the Hazanim will generally do tunes. Yerushalayim Shem Zahab is in Nahuan and other tunes that are been popularized in Israel are in Nahuan and that's the tunes that they will use. When in their Mehubarot, Tazriyah Tahor, the Shishi is Behenif, Otam Tenufa, Lifnei Adonai. 